All right, guys, video number three. Uh, three more to go, but I'm keeping them short so you guys can, can look at them. So, uh, real quick, surface areas of pyramids and cones, all sorts of different shapes, which means, excuse me, which means there's all sorts of different ways to kind of calculate those. Uh, the last three videos will probably be in my garage, but I had to get kind of started with this because I have some things in the way in the garage. So, uh, if we're looking at pyramids or cones, so different shapes. So basically, uh, basically a cone is kind of like a pyramid with a, uh, a circular base. And then your typical pyramid is a pyramid with a, uh, square base. My drawing is totally just horrible. So, uh, it's kind of crooked and offset and just kind of deal with the, with that. Uh, this is on, this is the one on page 926. So if you want to see a real drawing of a pyramid, go ahead and go to that one. I just kind of, mine's, mine was built by people that don't know how to build it very well. So, oh well. So formulas, this is a half, sorry. Uh, surface area of this guy is, uh, one half times the perimeter times the slant height. Okay, it's not the length, it's the slant height. So it's the side here where it's slanting this way, like that. So it's from the middle up to the top on just the side, okay? Uh, so make sure that you kind of understand that piece. So if I was to, let's see if I can do it here real quick. So if I was to take this face like this and pull the face off, this here, even though it's not a very good triangle, that line that I just created, so basically we have the triangle, we pull the face off, this line down the middle that I just created, that's the slant height. It's the slant from the side to the tip, okay? Uh, and then the area of the base. So let's just tackle this one. So if we're, if we're dealing with the surface area, we need the perimeter, which is all the sides added up. So if it's the same base, it's 5. This is a square base. My drawing is not very good. So it's 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So that's going to be 1 half times 20. And then my slant height, which is this dotted line right here, and they give it to me. That's 3. And then we add the area of the base, which is 5 times 5. So we end up with 25. So it's the area of the base, 5 times 5. So 1 half times 20 is 10. 10 times 3 is 30. 30 plus 25 should give us 55 square. And what's the units they use for us? Meters. This is meters, square, meters. Okay? So that's how you find the surface area. Don't forget, these are the slant heights. There's some funky ways to find slant heights. So if you get stuck on something, uh, let me know uh, and or let Miss Pendergast know, and then we'll be able to kind of fix you guys there. So let's move over to cones. So that way we can try to keep this around five minutes. So if we move over to cones here, we still need pi. The reason we're using pi now is because we have this piece right here that we need. Uh, uh, I have a gut feeling I missed something on that one. So, nope, I didn't. So, so uh, as, we, as we look at this, it's a little different shape. The biggest problem is, is I'm missing a slant height. I need the slant height. The slant is just literally the side of the cone here. So how would I find this? Well, if I look at this piece that I'm going to highlight here and I cut it and I just cut it straight, that's really a triangle that has this side of 16, this side of 12, and how do I tackle that? Well, you know how to find the third side of a triangle. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So this is what, 256 plus 144, is that 400? I don't know. Mm -hmm. 256 plus 144 equals C squared, so that would be 400 equals C squared. C equals 20. Well, C is actually 
my slant height. So now I know that this is 20. Okay, so this is 20. So then I start plugging things into the formula. Best part about surf, surface area is all the formulas. We have pi. What's my radius? 12. What's my slant height? I just figured it out. It's 20 plus my area of the base. What's the base? Pi times r squared. So again, this is my r, which comes from here. This is my slant height, which I figured out using Pythagorean's theorem because they didn't give it to me. And then what is my area of the bottom? So the surface area is the area of the cone and the area of the bottom. So we get 12 times 20 is 240 pi plus 144 pi. Guys okay with that so far? So if we have uh, 240 pi, 144 pi, that's going to be 384 pi. And they give it to us in feet. It's area, so it's feet squared. Let's just make sure. Uh, 12 times 20, double checking my calculator, plus 12 squared, it's 384 pi. Alright guys, so that's how you find the surface area of pyramids and cones. Talk to you soon.